Okay, so upon Eden 6, there are multiple chests you can keep farming, which you have a chance of dropping those at Legend Days. How's it going, guys? My name's DPJ, and I'd like to thank you for stopping by and checking out my video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like truly helps out, and subscribe if you want more Borderlands 3 videos. Also, guys, as always, I am giving away copies of Borderlands, so to win one for yourself or a friend, simply make sure you are subbed to this channel and have that notification bell button ticked. Drop a like on the video and leave a comment down below. Okay, so shout out to Glitch Queen, who I believe originally found and posted a couple of these. What they are are basically weapon chests you can farm infinite times which have a chance of dropping legendaries. Do this offline to get better loot and if you have an artifact which increases your luck, put that on too. So within the small area of Eden 6 Jacob's estate there are three of these chests I have seen, no doubt there are more hiding. So the first one is located literally on top of a save point. So you can stop here all day if you want to, open the chest, quit out, load back in, open the chest, rinse and repeat. Or there are others you can use too, two right next to the loot tink, the famous loot tink farming spot. So that's probably the better one to go to, as you can farm and kill the loot tink at the same time as opening this chest every run. That chest is located under the bridge just before heading to that loot tink. Now there is also another one in this area, we're in the far corner over here. Epic enough though, a loot tink commonly spawns here too, so you may as well keep checking this chest. Now these do have a chance of dropping that legendary loot, but is the farm efficient enough to do? Is it better than farming Grave Ward, the loot tink or any other typical loot farming spot? I don't think it is. I probably got 5 legendaries out of 20 chests. That for me isn't the best in terms of how quick you can get loot in this game now. So to be honest I probably wouldn't have made this video if it wasn't for this being right next to the loot tink farms because I don't think it's worth it spawning in and running to the three corners of the map if the legendaries ain't guaranteed. So use this method while farming that loot tink, you may as well. Now I know there are many of these chests, there are a couple by Oriella too where you can load in, grab the chest, quit out, load it back up, rinse and repeat but in my opinion they ain't quite efficient enough but using these chests while farming the loot tink, I mean why not? You've got nothing to lose and it doesn't really make your process any longer so yeah guys, just a quick video on a Jacob's chest which can drop legendaries enjoy and on that note we have come to the end of the video if you guys enjoyed it, leave a like, really helps out if you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands 3 videos be sure to subscribe and if you never want to miss a video or upload you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button but guys, thanks as always for stopping by hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one